I think we need to fix some stuff. No, I think we need to buy some stuff. It's shopping day. Shopping day. <laughs> And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder, who got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, this is Rob. And Sherry's over here. <laughs> and today was a shopping day. And so we uh, thought we'd show you a couple of things that we've done to the RV. Um, just for the fun of it. So, show and tell. So today, we uh, keep a shelf in the corner here by our chair, and so we found a, what is that? So, what I have here is, this is a shelf that we use to store extra stuff, and underneath here, it's just a uh, two or three tiered shelf you can get, yeah. and it's just to store extra um, things that we need to take care of. It does look a lot better when you cover it up, though. So, so uh, we didn't... I wanted to have it covered so that it wouldn't detract, you know, from it. And we had it covered one of, with one of these fleece blankets. Yeah, which actually looked good. Which worked great. However, I wanted to use my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to get our blanket back. So we just went to Walmart and we picked up just a simple um, tablecloth and covered it. And ta-da, yeah. that's it. I like it. So here's the funny thing. Um... <laughs> Our silverware, how long have we had the silverware? This is camping silverware that we had when we owned a boat. <laughs> and the problem with it is it's really flimsy and on some of them, um, I think it's knives. Um, these things basically are really loose and they break very easily. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many have broken. And we're just cutting simple foods, you know, not, nothing hard and it's breaking. So I had told Rob that I wanted to replace the silverware we had in here because it, all it is is really camping silverware. Yeah. We've, we've had that since uh, 2006, I think. Uh, yeah, if not longer. Yeah, because we had it in all of our motorhomes. And this stuff, not only that, they don't match. So we got light blue, dark blue. <laughs> we got everything yeah, in here. That doesn't belong in that drawer. Oh, sorry. But anyway, so we have finally, we have finally, but, a new set of silverware. Yay! So this is what we have. It seems to be more durable. I haven't opened it up, but I'm going to um, pull this all out, wash it up, and have all of our silverware replaced. And I was checking quality pretty good to make sure that it wasn't going to bend on us. Yeah. Because the uh, biggest problem I always have is right in the base of the spoons. Yeah. Um, if you're like scooping ice cream or something, you actually bend. So we made sure they were pretty... Uh, stout right nothing special about them very simple pattern but we i wanted something that didn't have any uh sharp edges or anything like that just it's just my preference yeah so i know it's not much guys but we're excited about it to get some new silverware we also did something else we're getting ready to change out our bed spread so this is what we currently have that came with the rv it's kind of a what color? Kind of a purpley blue. No, it's it's a navy, navy blue, and kind of a goldish brown. And we've had it since we've owned it since, so we've had it for several years, and it's getting tuckered out a bit. Yeah. So we got <laughs> a new comforter. New comforter and sheets and everything for this. So what kind? Of, I know it's silly, but it's kind. Of, it should brighten up this room. It's, the color is still a, a blue, so it's still kind of in the same tones, but it's a blue and a silver, more of a silver than the gold. Yeah. And we'll see how it works. All right, we're going to show you what it looks like when we're done here. Okay, so we got the finished product here. And any problems putting this stuff on? Uh, no, it was actually pretty simple. The comforter is much thicker than the other yeah. uh, bedspread, but uh, it still went on no problem. We have a king size bed. We're just using standard sheets and standard comforters. Um, and we, did put a, a, we did a skirt around it too that we didn't normally do before. Yeah, and I really don't think we need the skirt or anything, so it wasn't a necessity, but it came with a package. All so right. if it becomes a problem, I might take it off. But Here's the finished product. Woohoo! 
Oh, there's cinders on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cinder sleeps with us, so. So um, yeah, it's a pretty bed spread. Looks really good. And you kind of see it in the mirror. You can see the whole bed a little easier with this. But uh, yeah, that looks really nice. We did have trouble with the pillowcases that came with it because we don't have the king size pillows. Right, so I just used the pillowcases that came with the sheets and then uh, we had some navy blue pillowcases already that I, I just left those on and so I did not use the decorative pillow shams that came with this as well. But if we ever get king size pillows, you know, we've got the shams for them. Yeah, next party. Well, we got some other things to show people, so thanks. Bye for now. Well, it's time to talk about the boxes. Uh, and a few videos ago, I told you that I was having trouble with the boxes in the back of my truck. So let me show you what I did. Yeah. So this is this is the uh, box I removed from the truck because it was so tall, and it got crushed, and half of <laughs> got damaged. It was too high. But after uh, seeing some other folks with their RVs, I noticed that some of them would use totes to put stuff in and then they put it on the trailer floor and then pull them out each time. So I thought I'd use this box differently and so let me show you what I want to do with it. So that box, since it has wheels on it and stuff, I want to store my power cable. Come around here. Well, this power cable, if you see how beefy it is, it's a beefy cable. See how big? Anyway, I have it plugged into the garage. Anyway, it weighs a lot. And it usually gets filthy and dirty all the time because it's always exposed. So I thought it would be nice to roll that up, put it in that box. Then when we travel, we'll just put it in the front door on the floor. So that way I don't waste it. So what I did to replace that box... So I went to Walmart and I replaced it with this box. Hey Cinder. <laughs> anyway, this box I like because I could lock it if I wanted to. It is waterproof. It has seams around it. And this is why Cinder Gather. Um, this is why I keep my chemicals. So all my lubricants and everything I need for the truck I keep in this box, uh, for the RV actually. And it just snaps in real easy. Kind of hard to see because the sun's in my viewfinder. And easy to work with and it clears the, uh, the hitch. So I think we got it the way I want. I keep tools in that one. That box right there, believe it or not, is Cinder's box. <laughs> we keep her toys and, and throw balls and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a customized thing for her. Uh, why we stay here by the way if you're wondering we don't we try to not impose on Sherry's father with garbage so we try to take our garbage out to the garbage dump ourselves so we don't overwhelm them because it's kind of expensive to have garbage service. So that's what I did with the box. So there you go. That concludes our video for today. We did some shopping. We had a good time. Showed you some of the things that we finally did. And you're happy with your stuff? I'm happy with my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, basically, now we have new bedding, we just can't go to bed anymore because we don't want to mess it up. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. We know how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we have this brand new bed. We're going to just sleep on the floor in the couch. No, I'm going to sleep in the bed because I make it. You get the floor, the couch. <laughs> Actually, you get the couch, the dog gets the floor. <laughs> ah. No, I don't think really. I like shopping day. <laughs> anyway, that concludes our video today from RV Travel Quest. I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. Guys, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services. RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences. RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future. The Insane RV 360 Videos. 
our amazing RV.TV where amazing stories come from our viewers. And last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.